got a big day. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna hop up in the platy here. I'm not sure. Shop's unlocked or locked. I'm gonna go show you something real quick. Oh yeah. Here you go. Here you go. So Really quick before we get into this video. Now by the title and thumbnail you probably already kind of know what's going on because I've probably already kind of given it away. But that moment is coming up very soon. Thank you guys so much by the way for tuning in and watching this video. Really quick, every $5 is one entry to win this truck and you guys are down to the last, how many days is it? It's like 11 days? I think the last 11 days to enter to win this truck. 2019 Ram 3500 limited edition loaded out. It's got the giant screen TV looking thing in the center, all the stuff. It is sweet. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to enter to win that truck. You guys are running out of time. Okay, now we got to get on the road to go pick up our new truck. You excited, Reagan? Yeah. Stoked? Yep. Beyond excited? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're gonna punch in the address here and we're gonna get on the road. Here are a few things that we want to point out about the truck really quick. First off, this is not like a diamond in the rough gem of a truck when I'm talking like condition being like perfect, pristine, paint's amazing, zero spots of rust anywhere. Like this isn't one of those, you know, super incredible crazy stories. But what we're gonna do with this truck is absolutely crazy. So we're gonna get here, we're gonna kind of show you around the truck a little bit if we can. You guys will see in a bit. So we're gonna get on the road here, we're gonna get to the lot, and uh, let's show you guys what we're picking up. Oh, thank you, love you. Okay. We did just pick up the new truck, and before I show you this thing, I gotta tell you, again, 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 this thing is not a cream puff. This is not like a truck that you're gonna look at and go, wow, how did you find one in that perfect shape? But the bones of this truck are extremely solid for like working with. Like there's so, so, so much we can do with this truck. It's just crazy. I looked it over once, I looked it over twice, I looked it over a third time. I'm looking at the cab mounts, the frame, the suspension, like, you know, the, the little trays where the coils sit. And I'm like, it's just, it looks, it's solid. You know what I mean? Like it's got a little oxidation. It's a little flaky in just a couple small spots. But for the most part, the frame, I mean, the suspension, I mean, everything about the truck is solid and solid and good to go. So um, the stuff that matters, you know, the transmission, the engine, the frame and all that stuff is amazing so we're gonna get to looking at this truck right now and before you jump down into the comments just to, just wait till this build starts to unfold because it's gonna move pretty quick but it's also gonna move kind of slow I don't know if that makes a lot of sense but this is a build that's gonna take us probably two to three months to finish more maybe but hopefully not but two to three months and it's gonna go through a complete transformation so check this thing out Everybody, here she is. She's a 1995 12 valve Cummins, and I know she's a little bit on the rough side, but this truck has a crap ton of potential, and I honestly mean that. It's missing some dials in the interior, it needs a new radio, it's got a couple hairline cracks in the dash, but for the most part, it's got good bones, and that's what we need. I wanted something with a super solid frame, a super solid low mileage engine. In terms of paint, body work that needs done, some very minor stuff, not really much rust to deal with necessarily, just some little dings and dents. But I'm like, for the most part, this is like the exact truck that I wanted. And by the way, huge thank you to the guy over at Speedway Motors. Andy over there, if you guys are looking for a manual Cummins diesel. He doesn't have tons of stuff on the lot right now, but he is trying to find these things constantly. He doesn't just take in any, you know, any, any truck that just shows up on the lot and he'll take it in. Like he wants manual Cummins diesels. He likes the older stuff, the second gens, the first gens, sometimes some third gens, but that's mostly what he tries to get on his lot. And he definitely got it with this one. He's got one on there right now, by the way, that's actually a 2002 24 valve, 220,000 miles. It's a six speed manual. 
The only downside to that truck is it has a service bed on it, not an actual bed or even a flat bed. But if you're not prideful and you are not ashamed to dry something that is a project, a work in progress, he does have a nice O2 24 valve with a six speed manual in it over there. And I believe it is four wheel drive. I'm pretty sure that's mostly what all he sells. He hardly sells a two wheel drive there. Definitely go check it out. Speedway Motors off of Coliseum in Fort Wayne. My first five speed manual 12 valve. I also bought that from him. My dad actually also bought his first diesel ever from the guy over at Speedway Motors. But yeah, just a good guy that's always got a good deal. Anyways, go check him out. He's willing to work with people. And um, if he's got something on the lot, he's in the business of selling trucks. So definitely give him a shout. Anyways, guys, let's give you one last little look around the truck here. So like I said, in terms of the paint, paint's not awesome, okay? It's not a cream puff. In terms of paint, needs new paint, needs new grill, needs new front bumper, needs new rear bumper, needs mirrors, and all kinds of stuff. It's definitely gonna need some wheels and tires. I had to ditch my <laughs> new stabilizing tripod there. It's not very good for the logging style stuff, but uh, anyways, back to the video. So in terms of the exterior, it's got a little dent here. It's got a small little ding right there. It's got a little bit of a crinkle in the way back right there next to the bumper. Doors not really rusted on this side, real straight, no rust on the rockers, fender, other than this little stuff from, you know, paint chipping but those aren't like holes about to happen same here they're not like holes in the fender about to happen it's just from the paint coming off there again bumper needs new headlights it's pretty straight here it's got a little spot of rust right here but I don't think that's like too bad of a problem I'm pretty sure it's still salvageable same here with a little dent just a little dent nothing major got a little spot of rust starting right here other than that, I mean, the frame is really clean. The bed is really clean. It's never had a gooseneck put in it, nothing like that. It hasn't been, you know, beat to crap. Frame is very clean. Cab mounts are still completely intact. The truck runs good and drives good. Of course, you got the five speed, you got the stick in there, but it needs a lot of work. And uh, we're gonna go over kind of some of the plans for this truck, but it's not bad. I mean, the thing is not bad at all. We're not gonna be keeping the seats in here or really hardly any of the interior. So again, lots coming on that. And this is one of those trucks that we're gonna do a crap ton of customization to. I mean, new seals and new, I mean, pretty much everything. It's almost gonna be like a restoration, but it's not gonna be like a stock restoration. It's gonna be taking this thing and pretty much doing like a huge, you know, from bone stock and rough to an extremely crazy transformation in built truck. And that's what we're going for. We're going to be doing all sorts of stuff from exhaust work to power to suspension to completely custom interior. But I mean, just tons and tons of stuff that we're going to be doing to it. I would pop the hood, but it also needs a new hood because there's this little crinkle up here, right up here in the hood. I don't know how that got there. But there's a crinkle in the hood right there and it does open. But whatever happened there, it kind of busted the hood latch hinge on the inside there on that side. And so it takes two people to open the hood. Somebody's got to you know, lift it there while somebody, you know, kind of helps that corner get lifted up since there's no hinge to assist it. And then it can stand up with the other hinge on the other side. But the whole hood's gonna be going anyways and hoods aren't a big deal. Hoods are pretty easy to swap out. But all the main stuff is really good. I mean, the bed's in really good shape. It's not rotted out. It's got a couple tiny dents and crinkles, but I think we can work with it. The body is really straight. It needs some paint and stuff like that. But overall, guys, this thing is gonna be wicked. Just stay tuned, it's gonna get pretty awesome. Let's get to starting this thing up. Now, in terms of the exhaust, that's all bone stock, so it's still got the mufflers and all that, you know, crap underneath. So we're gonna start this thing up. It's not loud, but you know, you guys haven't heard a 12 valve start up here um, in a little while, other than the first gen recently, but other than that, it's been a long time. Purrs like a flipping kitten. Do you see that? You just touch that key and it fires. Love that. there is how you know it was a grandpa truck you can't hear anything there's no sound to it oh man but look at the body lines though she's pretty straight she needs some work but she's straight let me know what you guys think of this new truck and I'm gonna give you a little 
little tiny hint to what this truck should be like. I loved my 2018 Longhorn so much. However, I love 12 valves just as much. So we're kind of trying to make the best of both worlds and you can take whatever pieces of that you want, whether you want to take the suspension, the interior, the you know sound, the drivability, the whatever the heck you want to take out of it. But let's just say this, I like that truck, but I also like an old truck. So we're going to try to make the best of both worlds. So thank you guys so much. Stay tuned. This is about to get flipping crazy. Thank you so much, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Don't forget to enter to win that truck. It's taking up too much space in my garage. Anyways, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.